What's up guys, Justin from Fix My PEV and here on this channel we have been talking about calibrating your one wheel for a few weeks now and unfortunately when I first showed the process I had actually given some steps that were a little bit out of order. I was able to get them to work on my personal board and I think it was just a speed thing. The Bluetooth handshake likes to time out quickly especially when you're using NRF Connect to manually type in the commands that you're sending to the board for the calibration but to make it a little bit easier I will be showing you how to do it in a manner that gives you a bit of extra time to send the commands over so I'm going to be demonstrating this on the XR today both on iOS and Android if you happen to have another board model I do have a separate video for the GT I also have a separate video for the Pint and Pine X keep in mind this process is actually the exact same for the XR, Pine, and Pine X, but the Pine and Pine X are gonna react a little bit differently, so doing a separate video here today. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, there's actually three commands that we can send to our one wheel XR, and they're going to do, number one, connect to factory mode, because we can't do anything unless we connect to factory mode. Number two, you can recalibrate your Hall Effect sensors. You don't have to do that very often, but I just happen to do it as kind of a maintenance thing if I'm re-leveling my board or if I've done any major work like a bearing swap or taking the stator and the hub apart. I just like to do that for peace of mind. The last command is actually going to be one of the most popular that people like to use and that is basically a digital tilt. You're going to be able to reset the level calibration of your board. That way if you have aftermarket rails and you don't like the way that the nose sits when you're riding or the tail sits when you're riding especially on w's in reverse it's not the most comfortable then this will help you recalibrate the level so that you have a more comfortable ride so i will be showing you on ios and android i'm going to start with the ios process if you have an android device go ahead and skip forward there's going to be a timestamp down below that you can click on that will take you straight to the android process other than that i'm going to stop talking and i'm going to get right into it Okay, so the calibration process for the One Wheel XR is going to be a little bit different from some of the other boards. It will be a lot more similar to the Pint and Pine X, but the GT has its own thing. So if you're looking for that, that's a different video again, but we're gonna go ahead and go through the process for the One Wheel XR today. So you do wanna make sure that your board is oriented in the level that you would like to calibrate it to. You also wanna make sure that your tire is off of the ground or off of the surface below because one of the calibration steps here it's not mandatory to do it every time i like to do it just out of habit but we are going to be calibrating the hall effect sensors and it's going to need to spin this motor freely so you'll see that later in the video but we've got it raised up i like to use a trim bin just lifts it up nicely you can use whatever you need whatever works just to accomplish the same thing here so the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and turn on the xr If you have headlights, those will come on. If you don't, you'll feel resistance on your tire. You know it's on. And the next thing we want to go ahead and do is we want to open up our One Wheel app. And we're just going to open the One Wheel app. We're not actually going to connect to the board, but we're just going to open it for now. And then we're going to minimize it. With that minimized, we want to then go to NRF Connect. And I was connected to another board earlier, so that was just defaulting, showing up. Went back, dragged down to refresh, and I can see my board right there. If you don't know your serial number, please double check it before you do this, because you could potentially be tapping into somebody else's board, and you don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and connect to the board that we want to calibrate. And once we've connected, we're going to minimize NRF Connect. We don't want to disconnect from the board. We don't want to close the app, but we want to minimize it just like we did with the One Wheel app and go back to the One Wheel app. You then want to connect to the XR on the One Wheel app. Got this little fly circling around trying to, trying to make a cameo in this video. Not about you, man. It's about everybody else watching it. Anyway, now that we're connected on the One Wheel app, we're going to go ahead and minimize that and go back to NRF Connect. So we're still connected on NRF Connect. We've got the One Wheel app connected in the background. And we want to look for the unknown characteristic with the UUID that starts with E659F302. So that one is 01. There's 02. On the far right, we want to hit the down arrow with the line under it. That should turn blue. 
This is actually turning on the notifications, enabling notifications. The board and the phone will actually communicate with each other via Bluetooth and that's what that's for. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to hit the up arrow to send the command that will put us into factory mode. We're going to type in CBCB, Charlie boy, Charlie boy, and we're gonna hit right. So that should now put us in factory mode. If you're in a darker room and you have your headlights on on your board, you might see them flicker slightly. Otherwise, you won't really see anything happen. So we're gonna be able to confirm that this worked based on our next calibration command. If it works, we know we're in factory mode. If it doesn't, we know that we need to try to get into factory mode again. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna do the Hall Effect sensor calibration. And again, you don't always have to do this, but I'm just gonna do it for the sake of the video and as a maintenance task here. So on the same characteristic, we're gonna hit the up arrow. We're going to type in C-A-E-A, -E which is Charlie Adam Edward Adam. We're gonna hit right. And that's how the Hall Effect sensor calibration goes through. So if that doesn't happen, you know you're not in factory mode. That did happen for us, we know we're in factory mode. And the great thing is, now that we have confirmed we're in factory mode, we can now do the next part of this process which is what a lot of people refer to as a digital tilt kit. That digital tilt kit is going to allow us to recalibrate the level of the board, especially if we have aftermarket rails like W's. I don't have W's, I have the standard homebrews, so I don't really need to do this, but you technically could. Otherwise you could use custom shaping to adjust the tilt of your board. But some people like to ride in the standard ride modes when they have their aftermarket rails and they don't wanna to have to do custom shaping to try to tweak it to their liking. So the other thing this will do, by the way, is on a newer XR, if you happen to change the BMS and the controller doesn't like it, tells you it's incompatible hardware detected or something like that, this will also pair a new BMS with your board. It will tell the controller that it belongs to it. It's calibrating it together. So those are two things that this does. The most common, obviously, is going to be this tilt. But we're gonna go ahead and hit that up arrow again. This is gonna allow us to send another command. We are going to type in C-A-C-A, -C -A, Charlie Adam, Charlie Adam. And we are going to hit right. And I did notice that my lights flickered just a little bit. That tells me that this went through successfully. Next thing I'm gonna do, this is just something I like to do to make sure that I don't have any remaining connections after I'm done. I'm gonna disconnect. I'm gonna click close here because I don't want it popping up next time I go to connect to something like this did the first time I showed you today. Close that fully. I'm gonna disconnect from the one wheel app as well and close that fully. And then I'm gonna power cycle the board. And then I just like to hit the foot pad and make sure that it spins. So that's the entire process for the XR on iOS. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the Android process. Okay, so the process on Android is going to be very similar, but there actually are some key differences here, so you're gonna to wanna to follow along closely. The first thing is the same here. We're going to turn on our One Wheel XR. There we go. If you have your headlights on, you'll be able to tell that it's on because the headlights will be on. Otherwise, you could feel resistance in the tire when you rotate it. And this is a good time to let you know that during this calibration process, there are a couple of things we want to make sure of. We want to make sure that our board is level in the orientation that we ultimately want to calibrate it to. And we also want to make sure that the tire is off of the ground or off of the surface below it. I have the board on a trim bin here, so I'm able to accomplish both of those things at the same time. You can do it however you have access to ultimately, but you just wanna make sure that it's the same level and off the ground. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the commands here that are going to allow us to put this in factory mode to calibrate the Hall Effect sensors, which is not always mandatory, but I'm gonna do it for the sake of the video, and also implement what we call the digital tilt kit or level calibration. So that while you're riding in a standard ride mode, on aftermarket rails especially, you will be able to enjoy the ride feel that you like. So, after we've turned the board on, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and open up NRF Connect on our Android device. And we wanna go ahead and connect to our one wheel on NRF Connect. Make sure you're connecting to the right one here. 
in case there's anybody else around you with a board that's turned on. Once we've connected and we see this screen, we want to go ahead and disconnect. And we're gonna leave it just like this. We're gonna go ahead and minimize it. We don't wanna fully close it. We just want it in the background. We're gonna open up the One Wheel app. And since we're disconnected in NRF Connect, we want to go ahead and connect to our board in the One Wheel app. Once we see our battery percentage, we know we're connected. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. We're not gonna disconnect, so that's not the same thing I'm talking about, but we're gonna go ahead and minimize. That's the same thing I'm talking about. We're gonna go back to NRF Connect. And it's funny, you can actually see that we are now connected to the board on NRF Connect, even though we disconnected. And I believe that's because we're using the same device and we're connected with this device to our one wheel. So from this point, we're going to click on unknown service and it's gonna to wanna to jump to the bottom. If you put your finger on the screen while it's doing that, it'll stop it and you can go back up to where we need to be. We wanna look for the unknown characteristic with the UUID that starts with E659F302. And that's actually right here. On that characteristic, we are going to hit the triple down arrows that's going to enable notifications, important part of this process. The board and the phone are gonna be communicating with each other back and forth via Bluetooth, and that's what that's for. So, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the up arrow. This is going to allow us to send a command to the One Wheel XR. And this is our factory mode command. It is CBCB, Charlie Boy, Charlie Boy. We're gonna click send. And if you're in a dark room, you'll see the lights flicker that will tell you that the board has received the command, but also we're gonna look here and we can see that the value now says 00-CB. That is part of our notification process. We should be in factory mode. Now the next calibration command we're going to send to the board is going to confirm or deny whether we are successfully in the factory mode. And this is gonna be the Hall Effect sensor calibration. What we're gonna see here is this should actually rotate for a little bit while it's calibrating the Hall Effect sensors. And to do that, on the same unknown characteristic line, we're going to hit the up arrow. We're going to put a new value in of C-A-E-A, -E Charlie, Adam, Edward, Adam. And we're going to click send. All right, so that's good. We know that we're in factory mode because we would not be able to do that calibration if we were not in factory mode. So now that we've confirmed that, now that we've calibrated our Hall Effect sensors, we can move on to the most popular command that people will be using. That again is for the digital tilt mod. That is also for repairing a BMS, or I shouldn't say repairing. If you have your BMS break, or you wanna swap a new one in for any reason whatsoever, then you would generally run into an incompatible hardware error if you have a newer XR. If you have a 4209 or before, it's not gonna happen. I don't know about 4210. I wanna say that that's when they started implementing that whole pairing type of thing, marriage type of thing between the BMS and the controller. But this is going to take care of that as well if you happen to need that ability. And we love that here because that for us is an improvement in repairability of your board. And we're always fans of that. So. We're going to tell you how to do that. It's the same exact command for both of those things that I just mentioned, but most people will be using this for the digital tilt. So on the same unknown characteristic line, we're gonna hit the up arrow. We're gonna put a new value in of CACA, -C -A, Charlie Adam, Charlie Adam. And we are going to click send. And again, you can see if you have your headlights or taillights on that they might flicker. That lets us know that the board received that. And I saw that happen to mine. Also, if we're looking at the value for the notifications here, it says 00-CA. So we're good to go. What I like to do, just to make sure I don't have any loose ends, is I like to go ahead and disconnect. I'm gonna hit that X as well and fully close NRF Connect. I also want to disconnect, or you can just fully close the One Wheel app as well, but I'm just doing both just for the sake of it. And now we're gonna go ahead and power cycle our XR. Okay, so it's off, it's on, and I'm just gonna test to make sure it works. Yep. So that's the full process for the XR on both iOS and Android. If you have any questions or you just wanna leave a comment thanking us or whatever you might wanna do, you can, you can yell at us too, you can insult us, whatever you wanna do. Uh, we're not your mom or dad, but we love you guys, we hope you ride safe, and we hope that this video was informative and helpful. Anyway, see you guys next time.